Louisiana's coast is home to diverse fish, wildlife, ecosystems, and communities that are threatened by land loss, hurricanes, and sea level rise. To build and maintain its coast into the future, Louisiana's Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority, known as CPRA, will construct and operate sediment diversions to reconnect the Mississippi River to wetlands to deliver fresh water, sediment, and nutrients over time. Sediment diversions will be operated using adaptive management a structured approach that allows diversion managers to meet the goals of the restoration project while also adjusting operations over time to account for on-the-ground changes and needs. Louisiana has an extensive monitoring system and CPRA is investing millions to bolster these efforts as the diversions are built and operated. With access to this robust real-time data, Scientists and managers can understand what effects the project is having on the Delta and how to adjust its operations to achieve the goal of building and maintaining land while considering other effects to the environment, wildlife, and communities. In this way, adaptive management is a little like perfecting a family recipe for a favorite dish, say, a Louisiana gumbo. Both start with planning, then putting the plan into action, gathering feedback, and making adjustments over time to improve results. At the end of it all, the goal is to have a delicious gumbo and a bountiful delta to pass along to future generations. The planning stage of the adaptive management cycle involves assessing what is needed and designing the project to achieve success. When making a delicious gumbo, we start off with a basic family recipe that includes ingredients and a few helpful notes on what to look for and how to adjust when necessary to make sure the recipe turns out as expected. With sediment diversions, planners begin by assessing what is needed to build and sustain a bountiful delta. Next, they design a project and monitoring plan to achieve the desired goals and help answer questions about how best to operate the diversions along the way. The doing stage of the adaptive management cycle is about putting our plans into action and monitoring changes to track project outcomes. In this stage, our chef will make the groceries, cook up the gumbo, careful not to burn the roux, and do some taste testing along the way. In the Delta, the plans are put into action by building and operating the diversions and monitoring progress through real-world observations to track results. CPRA plans to invest significantly, upwards of $10 million a year, into monitoring efforts that will help managers understand how changes occur in the Delta as a result of the diversion. By keeping a watchful eye on these changes, managers will have the information needed to make the necessary adjustments to the project. The learning stage of the adaptive management cycle involves evaluating results based on evidence and making adjustments as needed. For our chef, learning means serving the gumbo to friends and family and gathering their input. Is it too salty? Is the roux too light? Maybe the chef used the wrong type of sausage. All of this feedback will help the chef improve the recipe over time. In the Delta, by referencing data from the robust monitoring system, changes in salinity or rates of land building, scientists will learn about how sediment diversions are performing and make recommendations for those adjustments. Putting a plan into action doesn't always go the way they've laid out on paper. There will always be some unpredictable events that require adjustments. One of the biggest strengths of the adaptive management approach is that it helps decision makers account for the unexpected and modify operations accordingly to prioritize different objectives over time. For example, if certain ingredients aren't available for our gumbo or guests have a specific allergy or food preference, the chef may need to make some creative substitutions in the recipe. In the Delta, in one year, higher levels of rain upstream may contribute to greater sediment loads in the river. 
Managers might operate the diversion to take advantage of this opportunity to capture sediment for faster land building with the trade-off of lower salinities. In the following year, the manager would operate the diversion in a way that balances salinities to prioritize fisheries in the basin instead. Building a sustainable delta, like developing the perfect gumbo recipe, takes time. With careful strategic planning, access to robust data and monitoring, and annual operational changes over many years, Adaptive management will help project managers reach their goal of building and maintaining coastal wetlands while also considering the needs of the communities, wildlife, and industries of the Delta. The diversion projects will create a bountiful Delta and build and maintain tens of thousands of acres of wetlands that protect communities from storm surges and sea level rise, provide fish and wildlife habitat, and support a working coast. This approach will also bring people into the process, allowing communities access to information and opportunities to engage with diversion managers in achieving the shared goals of preserving Louisiana's coast in the future and perfecting the tastiest gumbo recipe to be enjoyed by future generations. To learn more about adaptive management, visit our website at mississippiriverdelta.org backslash adaptive management and join our email list for updates on how to get involved as these projects move forward.